welcome back and uh, welcome to the uh, new session in which we will be covering json uh, threat protection policy um, let's try to do it uh, with a different way this time so uh, i will be introducing a new concept of operation clean slate so when we say clean slate uh, we should wipe out everything which is already available right so Without any further ado, let's quickly jump to the AnyPoint platform. So this is my AnyPoint platform and this is on the API manager. This is the credit card API. I'm having two policies already there. And what is the correct way uh, to delete these uh, policies? Go to the contracts. You should be able to see uh, the uh, application which is currently being attached to it. So click on revoke and go for delete. and go back to on the policies and now you have to delete one by one remove similarly remove so operation clean slate completed now what i am going to do i i will uh, jump to um, one second mm. i will jump to a uh, design center and we'll try to change something in the credit card uh, api specification <coughs> sorry i would like to change uh, or add a new resource uh, over here uh, new agents okay and i want this to be a post method why it is not coming up in a, um, So, mm -hmm. so after post, let's try to uh, put the body and uh, somehow I feel like uh, why it is not appearing. And that's fine, I'm going to put in it anyways. <coughs> so application JSON and uh, the example should be something like this okay I need to adjust it Not fine. Not good. So this is a push method, and accordingly we need to add the response. So what I will do, I will copy paste this particular thing, and. Let's see. I think I need to go one more level of indentation. Yes. <coughs> so instead of resource, I will put to agent details updated. Uh, agent details in the backend. Okay. Looks good. Let's try to test it. I'll click on try it. Um, all good click on send let's see the response so this will update the agent detail in backend okay we are good over here and i will try to publish this thing publish to exchange 
103 and publish to exchange. Done. I will um, go back to API manager quickly. And in the meanwhile, I like to uh, put up the new <coughs> the credit card app as well. So what I will do, uh, 102 needs to be refreshed to the latest version, update version. Uh, I'll click here and update the version to 103, apply. It will take a while. Apply and close. So these are our new agents. Okay, let's quickly put some logger here and one more logger. I will say new agent needs to be added. And in second logger, what I will do, I will put to new agents added okay simple i will simply uh, take this out for deployment mm -hmm. export 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 okay here it goes i'll click on next uh, next i don't want to attach project sources last time uh, by mistake i have selected this one as well so now it's being Export it perfectly. I will go back over here quickly go to the runtime manager Okay, so credit card app <coughs> Sorry, I will go to the settings I will upload it from uh, the local that is on the desktop credit card app jar no changes, I will just simply push it. <coughs> Sorry. It is uploading right now. Let me uh, go to the API manager in parallel because we need some refresh and update over there as well. Um, credit card app version uh, 1.0. There is an update coming up. Update a set. 103. Change it. That's the thing is fine. I will go back. Um, let's quickly check over here. It is still deploying. In the meanwhile, I will go to policies and will show you for the JSON threat protection. You should select the latest one, configure the policy. Minus one suggest like maximum level or uh, no limits. Nested path, I will say not more than three. A string value length, I don't want anything beyond 10. Object entry name length, nothing beyond 10. Entry count, nothing more than how much? Let's say 3. Maximum array element count, let's again put uh, 2. I will apply on all, not all, only the specific one. That is the post method and uh, this will be slash what was the name sorry guys I need to cross check this slash new agent post okay mm. new agents okay I will click on preview resource matching click on apply let's try to see the resource matching once again yeah, it's available. We are good. Hmm. 
so after that we will go back to the admin level just we will check if everything is good everything is good but i would like to change the label and uh, i'll put json chat protection this is very tricky because the label length is not that much user friendly and we we uh, need to uh, put some logical name so here it is fine but when we go to the api exchange then some of the time it create problem i can see it is still rolling so application started successfully so we should be good it's still updating okay not a problem what i will do i will try to see this in uh, api exchange and let's see uh, how it goes new agents post we'll change it to the json threat protection select server and uh, let's try to send it is saying me uh, maximum length has been exceeded allowed is 10 so allowed is 10 so it means i think this should work field name maximum length okay string value length has been exceeded Thing is still it has to do something over here um, string value length has been accepted so let's check this out what is this string length is all about okay what I will do I will go to the policies again we'll try to see the details string value length is being exceeded okay i will go back to the um, i need to go to the exchange <laughs> credit card i need to select the new agents the post method uh, credit card so let's go it uh, this way what I'm going to do now I will put up this thing into my postman I feel this is uh, much comfortable so that's why I will go to post and within the body I will select a raw and the JSON I will go back to my this one we'll select this and let's let's see uh, how our uh, policy is doing with this particular set of data let's click on send button field name maximum length so definitely this one uh, I will put recruit AGT I will send it again A string value length maximum allowed 10 so what i'm going to do 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's hit it again array element count has been uh, exceeded so let's delete with that so it's successfully updated this time now we have checked couple of things uh, let's try to put uh, something f name something like this so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to change the structure and let's see if it catches this error or not okay the maximum allowed length is three 
what else I will go over here and check for the view details container value length object entry name length so object entry name length was the recruit uh, recruited agent that thing and entry count entry count we are going to check now and array element is already checked so I will check for object entry count so let's try to do this uh, comma this one oh, I am not able to put it down so container depth I am trying to see for the object entry count object entry count is this one only mm -hmm. Let me try to control Z, 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 control Z, Z, Z. Okay. Contain depth. I am still trying to figure out the object entry count. Okay. Mm. So, guys. Uh, for the object entry count, uh, if we increase the number of elements within the object level, uh, we have set it to three and I have made it four, then we will get this object entry count exceeded this program. With this last illustration, uh, we came to the end of uh, JSON threat protection policy. Uh, I have covered most of the part of it and uh, I would really appreciate if you give a uh, thumbs up to the um, this particular video and it will keep me uh, motivated and uh, I will make some more useful and handy videos for all of you. Thanks for uh, having me and uh, have a great day. Thank you.